Welcome back to video two in our Upgrade Your Forehand Transformation Series. Today is an awesome lesson because I'm gonna teach you how to hit your, wait a second, Dr. Mark Kovacs is gonna teach you how to hit your forehand 20 miles an hour faster in 30 minutes. Guys, I've been doing something really, really cool. I have become the student again and it's completely changing the way I'm gonna teach forever. I realize now everybody needs a coach, even the great Roger Federer needs a coach. And the reason I'm doing this is not just to make myself better, but to bring you along the journey with me. And that's why I've spared no expense. I've reached out to all my resources, all my top resources, the best coaches in the world. I spared no expense. I began on trains, well not trains, I began on planes and automobiles and staying in a hotel room and eating crummy food on the road all in an effort to help us upgrade our forehand. And I made one thing clear to all the instructors. I said, charge me what you charge me, but I gotta be able to do one thing. I gotta be able to film this so I can bring it back to you. And so, in today's video, we got a great lesson with Dr. Mark Kovacs. I reached out to Dr. Mark Kovacs just like I reached out to Rick. I said, will you give me a private lesson on the forehand and what's it gonna cost me? And Dr. Mark Kovacs says, yes I will, Pete, and you can can film it and it's $500 and I said okay well at least I don't have to get on a plane or a train to come see you I could just drive 30 minutes up to Kennesaw Georgia and why did I pick Mark because he works with our top American players Francis Tiafu, John Isner, Madison Keys, Sloan Stevens and he studies biomechanics he's all about the science of how you can max out on your potential hit the best forehand possible and it's just not about the pro it's about basic fundamentals and the cool thing when you watch this lesson today the aha moment for me was how he was blending old school with new school and so he was basically marrying the two ideas and the more I did this the more effortless power I was creating and the more top spin I was creating on the ball it's gonna be really really cool for you to watch this lesson so let's hit the court with Dr. Mark Kovacs So we just did sort of a quick forehand analysis. We had to hit about 18 forehands okay. that we recorded there. You were about 45% of the time in the sweet spot. Oh, I gotta do better than that. So we use this a lot with our players to try to see, understand where are we at and where do we want to be. Yeah. So from that standpoint, so you know. So we're gonna boost my numbers today? Yeah, think? so we're gonna look at that. That's our starting point. So I've been working with Head for a couple of years on this uh, sensor project and it's, it's great from an analysis standpoint is your stroke looks good. You're a good athlete. The stroke's 95% there. It's just how do we get a little bit more velocity on it. Okay. And a lot of it has to do with your hips and your coil okay and then extinction through contact okay let's work on two things to start with the first is when you get I'm a lefty as well so this makes it really easy but the first thing is when you take your racket back think about your left hip yeah so we want to turn the hip rather than just drop into it a lot of guys when they think use your legs they just drop down yeah. and that's not really what we want because we want our energy to be stored back and down and then explode out Let's see if we can really load into it. There we go, good. Load into it. Even more, load into it. That's better. Yeah, so the way I like to describe it is you're trying to open a bottle of Coke. We're in yeah. Atlanta here, Coke's the big drink. Yeah, I love Coke. So we, it's like opening the bottle. You've yeah, got to turn. A twist. What we're trying to see here is do you have what's called pelvic rotation? You put your arms here and then can you rotate like this without moving your knees? <laughs> it's weird. Yep. And the second piece that we saw with you was your extension. You, you got to here okay and then you came across it a little bit early. Okay, so finish and hold it with a straight arm. Straighter. Yeah, that's it, exactly, straighter. Even more, straighten it out. That's it. So anytime you're learning something, we wanna to get to that unconscious competence component. We're not there yet. 
Yeah. We're in conscious competence. So you're thinking about it, you know what you're trying to do, you're fully aware of what you're trying to do, you just don't have it to the point where you can't not think it. Yeah. So you're thinking through it, so everything's like you said. The accuracy comes, but we've got to figure out, do we have it in you to get an extra five miles an hour on the ball? We added pace, but we, we changed the stroke a little bit. Yeah. So our next progression here is we've got to make sure we get the spin, and that's really the legs getting below it. So when you get down, the leg has to come through, and you have to make sure we get that position where the racket comes through, back cap to the target, racket below the wrist just a little bit, and then come through. So forward. I want my hips going here yep. and then here. Exactly. Because I was thinking I was soaking this in here and then out. That's 100% right. That yeah. was what that was step, step one. So step one. It, it, step it, one exactly. It's a progression. That's why I wasn't worried. I knew yeah. you wouldn't have as much spin on the ball. Yeah. The next step is what we're going to right now is we're going to go and now get you that spin. And now we're going to put them together. Oh man. So if, I told, if I told you all that up front, you'd have too many things in your head. Many things. That's why he's a great coach. Okay, so now we're just, same drill, we're going to over exaggerate the angular with full extension, if that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. So it's just turn like you're throwing a discus. Ah. Okay, so one of the th concepts here is, and we I use this a lot, is you know if you watch great discus throwers, they're some of the most powerful athletes in the world. And what they do is they understand the rotational aspect of the kinetic chain, the ability to rotate and then completely release. But if you watch their arms, their arms are as straight as possible at release, but then they finish completely spun around. So we don't want you to spin around, but we want to have you have that same concept of arms straight as we're starting to rotate around. Yep. Go through it. Get your legs below it. Good. Now we're here in 84. 84, I can live with that. 84 right there, he made it. A 77 average, 84, and I, I think you, we did 12. I think 10 or 11 went in. Okay, so that was a great lesson, but I could tell as soon as I left the court, I'm like, wow, I got a lot of work to do on this. So I did what I do. I go, I hit the practice court. I wrote out a bunch of new drills for me to do so I can get the idea of this rotational power and making my stroke more angular rather than linear. And I could feel every day, every stroke, every new drill I did, I could feel these ideas coming together. And I did this again for you. So. I thought it'd be a great idea to go back and ask Paul to train with me again. Paul is a Crunch Time coaching member. He's also a member here at this club. And we went to the courts. I said, let me show you these ideas that Dr. Mark Kovacs is teaching me. Let's see how it works for you. And lo and behold, after some trial and error, he is also crushing his forehand. He keeps talking about how it gets easier and easier. No effort involved, no muscling the ball, and you're hitting rocket ships forehands. And that's what we're gonna teach you how to do in this Video number three because what's one of the things that we all do guys we all can play some great points from the baseline get the short ball and then we blow it and I can relate because I have trouble putting the ball away on an inside out forehand so I reached out to former top 100 ATP pro that's who we're gonna be visiting in video number three we're gonna go out to Denver I'm getting on a plane we're going out to Denver take a lesson with Jeff Saldenstein and he's gonna teach you how to hit rocket ship inside out forehands at least that's what he was calling my forehand, a rocket ship inside out forehand that felt so bit good because I was used to running around and then laying myself down, putting too much spin on the ball, not, not getting the ball off the court or missing the shot. I know you can probably relate to this, so you're gonna love video number three. But before you leave today, we also have to take one more step in our journey. Step number two is I wanna know if you could have one superpower on your forehand, whether it's a power of Del Potro or the spin of rock or the pinpoint ac accuracy of Roger Federer, what would be the one superpower you would want to take your four into the next level? Comment below, tell me what it is, and tell me why. And again, I'm gonna be reading all your comments and be offering some free coaching advice for you. In addition to that, by taking action, because that's what this journey's all about, it's step by step, taking action. 
each and every day. And by doing that, I'm gonna reward you by putting you into a raffle to where you can potentially win a free wrist racket, which was one of the tools that I got from On Court, Off Court that I worked with to help me get the feeling of increasing my racket head speed, my, you know, that snap and lag. And so you can build a lot of racket head speed into the ball, hit effortless power. You're gonna be entered into a raffle. And so comment below so we can continue the conversation and be looking out in your inbox for video number three. It is a good one. It might be the best one, so you don't wanna miss it.